Welcome back everybody. This is Hayes Tech and my name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech. Uh, and I do mean anything guys. Uh, for those of you that have been following my channel, you all know that uh, my tech <laughs> reaches all bounds man from uh, automotive tech to computer tech to uh, cell phone tech. I mean if it's tech, I love it. I, I just love tech. Today, what I want to talk about is a package I received in the mail uh, from eBay, and it is right here, and this package is for a microphone, uh, and we want to go ahead and open it up, let you guys see what's in it real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a test and see how good this microphone is, because it is only a $25 microphone from eBay. So, when we come back, we're going to see just how good this microphone is, so don't go away. And as always, if you like my video, don't forget to hit that like button and share my videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Okay, before we get started, again, there's been a lot of you out there that are curious as to how I record my videos. Uh, again, this is a tech channel, and as I said in the past, I want to help everybody out out there uh, to be able to do you know stuff like this. If you guys want to start making your videos on YouTube uh, and you're kind of new at it and you want to know how you do it, I won't hold nothing back. So with that said, uh, over here this is my Canon 90D and I have my Rode video mic on top of that and over here is my Canon M50 and I've got my Tackstar microphone on that. These are my two main uh, camera angles and this is my T6i, <laughs> my, uh, my old standby. This is you know what I started my YouTube channel with um, and it's not running with the microphone at all. It's running with the built-in microphone because for some reason the microphones aren't working properly. Um, but it, it, it will still record uh, good enough for you to sync it with a good microphone. First off, I just want to say thank you, everybody. Uh, I want to get a couple things out of the way. Uh, I had some issues a while back, and I actually put out a video um, about, uh, you know, my computer issues and the people that came to my uh, aid and wanted to help out me and the channel. Uh, that was uh, Revintech, Babazon, and Babazon's wife. Thank you again. I wanted to mention to you guys that the computer showed up. It is here. It's running awesome so in this camera here you can actually see it right here I have it actually fired up and running so uh, I, I just I figured I, I had to show it man I wish my computer had the screen resolution and just the size of the screen on this computer because this is what you want for editing a 17 inch or bigger monitor because it is nice uh, also I wanted to get out of the way that I made a video a while back on um, the Serta chair. Uh, it, so if you guys didn't watch that video, I, I recommend you go back and watch my review on the Serta office chair. It's uh, you know made of leather, really high quality leather, and you can pick them up at Walmart for $110. Uh, I said it back then that I highly recommend it, and those of you that watch any of my videos know that if I recommend something, I mean it. And how much do I mean it? I bought another one right over there so there's a brand new one and I actually even ordered another one um, this one has a uh, silver sides on it the one we ordered and it's a little uh, it's it's made to be a little bit taller so that taller people would be more comfortable in this chair so again I just wanted to show you guys that when I recommend something I mean it <laughs> if I don't like something I will tell you I don't like it so, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to get this box and we are going to dig into seeing what all comes in this box. Uh, before we go any further, I want you guys to know that yes, I already opened this box. I was planning on making a video on it a while ago. 
and um, of course my laptop went down and I couldn't make that video so I had to shelf this for a while so it comes in a plain Jane box I'm gonna go ahead and open this up uh, it comes with some paperwork uh, basically telling you how to put it all together because it comes in pieces and yes you have to put this thing together uh, this is not just a microphone. It is a microphone that has like a uh, desktop stand that clamps to your desktop and holds everything. It comes with a uh, with a muffle, a muffler. I, I call it a muffler. Uh, it's basically a, a, a little bit of film that if you say P P P like like P P P, you get that popping sound. It it's supposed to eliminate that. Um, you can also put a piece of foam over it. It does the same thing. Never run both foam. And a pop filter. Uh, for, from what I heard, it's, it's bad. You know, you shouldn't do that. Okay, so it comes with a USB sound adapter, which is basically uh, a sound card. You know, that plugs into USB into your uh, into your laptop, which will allow you to use this microphone, which is really cool. So it does come with that. It also comes with a hey, thank you card. Right there, thank you card for you know for purchasing their product, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, a little cheesy, but you know, it's still kind of cool. I'm gonna put that over there with the paperwork. Now, the packaging in this, I'm gonna go ahead and tip it up over here so this camera can see it. The packaging is actually pretty good. Um, uh, how they fit all that in here, because believe me, I had everything out of this and had to put it back in, and uh, I, I could barely fit it all in there. So, uh, first thing I'm gonna pull out, this is the uh, shock absorber. Uh, which the microphone will slide into and this will keep it from uh, getting bumps bruises, you know and stuff like that uh, Walking across the floor. This will isolate all those vibrations This is the actual arm right here Yeah, this is the arm that goes into the stand so you can actually take the microphone move it around wherever you want So that comes ouch oh, get your finger out of there <laughs> I got my finger in it don't do that guys don't get your finger in it um it has a holder if you want to use the microphone without the shock mount uh, that's a holder for that uh, here's a, another type of pop filter and it's actually a nice big one this would actually fit over my uh, blue yeti uh, so that's nice because this is a, a pretty nice this is a pretty big microphone so we're gonna need a big pop filter um, myself, I would rather use a pop filter rather than that uh, that little thing that goes in front of it. But, you know, I might even try using this one to see if it makes any difference at all. Uh, here is the actual um, pop filter that comes with it. Uh, it just hooks to the stand and then you can, you know, bend this wherever you want to sit in front of the microphone like that. And that way you don't get, you know... Uh, like uh, Peter Piper picked a pack of <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. You don't get that, you know, hard harsh pop in there. So there's the pop filter that it comes with. Again, again, it comes with two pop filters. Uh, by the way, like I, like I mentioned, uh, this is to mount onto your table or your stand. Um, you just you just kind of mount it right onto your table, tighten it up, and then the um, that little ratcheting arm will slide down here and then you tighten that down now it comes with an XLR to uh, TRS adapter okay so this microphone is actually an XLR microphone that's one of the reasons I got it this is a $24 package that comes with an XLR microphone not a USB microphone an XLR microphone so we're going to test it with the uh, XLR to USB because I don't have a uh, an audio um, you know an audio converter or you know something like that uh, but when I do get one we're gonna try it again with straight XLR so we are gonna do that but that's not gonna happen on this video so we need that and that's it that's all it's in the box now comes the microphone I know everybody's been waiting to see this and this microphone's actually got some weight to it. But here is the microphone. I'm going to get this box out of here. Uh, this is the microphone. Uh, if you look at it, 
you guys probably can't see inside that. No, you can't really. But it's got like a little... It's weird. It's hard to explain. I'll, I'll try to get some close-up shots of it so you guys can see what it looks like inside of this. But uh, it feels good. I, it, it, there's no rattle in it. It's got a little bit of weight to it, which is good. Uh, there are no buttons or adjustments on it whatsoever. So this is just a straight XLR microphone that's going to go into the... Um, it's going to go into the uh, shock mount. So here's the shock mount. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. You base it's just a friction fit. You basically just twist it, okay? So put it in and twist. Twist. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Now, one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have uh, any marks on it telling you which side records and which side doesn't. I, I don't like that. But uh, what, I, what it is, is there's a flat, round, circular mic in here, and I have it standing upright like this. It, it's not like this. I have it standing like this, so I can spin the microphone and talk on whichever side I want. Uh, there's an adjustment knob on the side. Now, the first thing I want to do, obviously, is get it attached to my desk. Now, whether or not this will attach to the desk and hold, or the table, I don't know. Stand. Now let me not get my finger in this this time. So this stand just kind of pops right down in that hole. There we go. Put that screw back in it. Okay, tighten it up. Now for this. This screws on top of this. Pop this in here. Like that. We're going to hook up the XLR microphone. XLR to USB. Sorry, guys. And then I'm going to have to... Um, it's got a nice, long cable. I do like that. Now, um, again, this is an XLR cable so you gotta line everything up okay so it goes this way like that plug it in it doesn't screw in it just plugs in and then we will attach this via USB to the computer or no this uh, is actually a 3.5 millimeter plug-in I now, I don't like that. I wish this would have been a USB type plug-in. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stop this now and I'm going to plug this in and we're going to get it all fired up. Okay, and we're going to see how it sounds. So, uh, don't go away. We'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and I do have the microphones on. Um, again, this is my Blue Yeti over here. And I can look at the waveforms right now and I can see that it is very, uh, very, very light. So... We're going to go ahead and uh, see what it sounds like. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Now I'm going to go ahead and come to the front. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Waveforms still look pretty small. And let me try this side. Okay, so it looks a little louder on this side of the microphone. So audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Now, I did not put the, um, the pop filter on it uh, because, again, I'm just trying this so you guys can hear what the audio sounds like coming from this. And just so you guys know, I'm using Audacity. Uh, I use Audacity with my, um, with my Rode video mic. It is a free program. I highly recommend it. Uh, you know, if, if you're starting out a YouTube channel or something like that or just making some home videos and you need to use uh, an external audio source, I highly recommend Audacity. It's free. It works great. Um, now, I did spin this microphone around. Uh, so apparently from looking at the wave files or looking at the waveform, uh, it does look like it has a specific area you want to focus on. And it is definitely this side. Uh, so like this is this would be how I would normally have it. It would be about this far away, uh, which is about 12 inches away, which is where I have my Blue Yeti right now. 
um, but from what I can tell by the audio files my guess is this microphone needs to be up a little closer so we're gonna put it up uh, close as if I was using this as a vlogging mic um, you know or a newscast mic uh, it would be you know pretty close so here's what it sounds like now I'm gonna go ahead and move it away again uh, I have it exactly at the same distance that my Blue Yeti is and we're gonna try it again audio test one two three audio test one two three um, so far I like the microphone uh, I think it is a little bit small I don't like the fact that it doesn't tell you which side you have to talk into on the microphone um, but I like the concept I like the looks of it uh, I like the fact that it is an XLR um, I don't like using an XLR to um, USB uh, you know micro it's a 3.5 millimeter into a USB which is actually a USB uh, reader um, which is basically a sound card that just plugs in USB into your computer and uh, and again I'm recording the audio off of this microphone onto the computer thank you Revan Tech and Bob and Bob's wife because I'm actually using that to record the audio uh, for this so uh, I have not listened to the audio yet uh, I'm gonna let that up to you guys to decide uh, what you think about it um, I will probably have an opinion on my next video on it uh, but then also remember that uh, when you're using an XLR to USB connection it's going to really kill the, the sound quality of the microphone I know that for a fact now a microphone like my Blue Yeti that is designed to work with a USB uh, a port on your computer this thing was made to sound great with a laptop and not a an audio uh, you know uh, source a mixer uh, you know I, I can't think of stroke brain guys uh, but this was made to work with a PC this was made to work with a XLR um, you know adapter type system so uh, I as soon as I do get an XLR adapter uh, for this I'm gonna try it again and I want to see what the difference in the audio quality is uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one uh, I hope you guys liked the video and I hope it was informative to you I hope that this video was you know uh, entertaining <laughs> you know as it can be and if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you saw think about subscribing and I just want to thank again I want to thank uh, Bob Azan and his wife and Reventech uh, for the laptop that they sent me I did get it I got it thrown together and it is running great um, I am gonna try to edit some videos on it today and see how it works uh, so far all the games that my grandson has been running on it have been playing great uh, so if it can run those games I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to edit uh, 1080p video again well I had a different ending uh, and I decided to go ahead and change that ending uh, the way I was going to leave this video go was um, for me not to listen to the audio from uh, that uh, eBay microphone and uh, you know and just let it go at that but um, while I was editing this video um, I was listening to the audio on that and I'm gonna tell you what um, without being able to turn down the volume of the microphone which you could do if you had an XLR box to go with it uh, and plug that in you actually have your you know your input and all that you can adjust that but without being able to do that it had a lot of hiss in the background and um, really no way to uh, you know to change that now I could have probably dropped the microphone level in audacity a little bit but I still think it was not going to get rid of that hissing case in point my blue Yeti right here now this is a USB type microphone and it goes right into my laptop and I can turn that down uh, the microphone volume uh, I can turn that microphone volume down just until it cuts out all the hissing in the background. Now it's not super loud out here, but when I actually bump it a little bit in post, you don't get that hissing. That hissing's gone. The microphone does not pick up the hissing. Um, and I just can't, I couldn't do that with that other microphone. Uh, now I am going to try it a couple different ways. Uh, and see if I can, you know, get it a little bit better. But um, without the XLR, uh, and I'm gonna go on I'm gonna go on here and just give it a quick um, okay so 
without an audio interface, and, that, and that's what I'm talking about when I say I need a box to, uh, to actually plug that XLR cable into. Um, for, for instance, here is a Behringer audio uh, interface, uh, and it, is, it has one XLR input on it. It's $50. Um, will that give me the best audio quality? Mm, it, it might. Uh, but here is another one. Now here is what I call mid-tier, probably where you should start. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's called uh, Focusrite Scarlet Solo 3rd uh, Gen. Now that's a USB audio interface, but you can get them uh, at, with the XLR audio interfaces in them. So I'm going to go ahead and get an XLR audio interface box so that I can plug that microphone into it and see if I can squeeze out a little bit better audio out of it. Uh, I'm not expecting much, but who knows? Remember, whenever you use an XLR microphone and you adapt it down to go into a USB or a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that plugs into uh, that real cheap uh, audio driver for or sound card, for your computer it's going to just trash your audio okay I know that for a fact then everybody says well how come it how come your audio is not trashed on your Blue Yeti okay the Blue Yeti was designed around being a USB type microphone and I mean they did a lot of work and Blue does fantastic work with USB audio interfaces so I'm just telling you that right now they just do a phenomenal job uh, they're not the only ones here. There are other companies out there that uh, also offer that, but I think Blue is the most popular um, and definitely within most people's price range, and they just sound great. But again, uh, in order to use an XLR microphone, you really do need to have uh, an, uh, an audio interface uh, to plug that into and do it right. So uh, as soon as I get one, I will revisit that cheap microphone uh, and we'll try it again. That's all I have. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching the video. Uh, be looking for a lot more uh, videos like, you know, this, tack, you know, to come. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. Uh, and if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that, you know, uh, notification bell icon at the bottom. That way you guys get notified of any video as soon as I release them. Because I am planning on doing a ton of videos. And by the way, <laughs> for those of you saying, Dave, you need a haircut. I got my haircut uh, about an hour ago. So, before I did this new Ender, Ender, uh, this end video for my main video, uh, I wanted to get out and get my haircut. I was sick and tired of it being long. Okay, guys, I, I promise you I'm done now. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.